Hello, we are your Management Information Systems team from Monta Vista High School. My name is Peter Choi, and I'll be explaining the client's background as well as the event situation. My partner, Larry Hsu, will be recommending a software that will be appropriate for this situation. Then I will take over and I will talk about the subsystem to further enhance the software, as well as backup, security. Then we will conclude the presentation by summarizing everything that we have explained in this presentation. So we understand that Uncle Rob owns a record store and he's currently really worried because of the decrease in sales because of the new MP3 boom, like Apple has taken over the MP3 market, so we want to compete. So we understand that Rob has asked us, your IT specialists, to create an information system um, so online, kind of like iTunes, for his customers. So now I'll turn it over to Larry, who will be um, suggesting an information, who will be suggesting a software that is appropriate for the system. For a web store such as this, storing information is key. And to do that, we shall create a database. Now, there are a vast array of database management softwares that we can provide, such as Oracle. But we do not recommend that because it would be a financial burden on the company as it's not large enough or information intensive as a financial institution like Goldman Sachs or, well, Spargo. Instead, we recommend MySQL. Not only is it free, but also it is high performance and fits the size of our business. Our primary interface will be a website and we will be implementing a customer relationship management system and integrating it with our database. The database will hold files on all of the customers and the customers can create their own profiles on the website and use their account to buy music from the web store. The database will include uh, song files and list them by genre and um, the customers can easily view them on the web store. Also, managers will also need to look at this information and so we will integrate an enterprise information portal where the managers can access information from the database via a web interface on a digital dashboard and they can look at the sales customer information all their songs and they can update all this information from their computer anywhere around the world. Now I will hand it over to my partner Peter who will elaborate more on the database administration subsystem, web interface, security, and backup features. So you see that this is a layout that actually the customer sees and this is a computer that the um, client <coughs> sees. So right here will be a search engine bar where anyone will be able to easily type in any type of music uh, that they would like to see and there will be a lot of list of like a bunch of titles all listed in alphabetical order. Then if the customer wants to see it by different types of topics such as um, title, year, year released, or category, then just like a Microsoft Excel, they just have to click the top button and it'll start categorizing by alphabetical or numerical order. However, if you happen to search up a song, but you understand that they're all pop and metal, but wait, that song's title happens to be country, then we have categorized buttons up here, and when you press on it, it'll only list country songs, and it'll still have the alphabetical order. In addition, we also have this button clicked most purchased so that you just know which is the most popular within that week so that customers will be able to see, oh, that's a popular song, maybe I'll try that out. Also, in addition, we have a question mark button in the corner and that is for customer feedback. So you see here, we have two databases, one for customer information and one for songs. So this is where we'll hold all the songs that um, Uncle Rob has in his um, inventory and customer information will be where if a customer notices that there is no song that they want, that's like the latest song and Uncle Rob doesn't have it, they're able to give a question or comment to Uncle Rob, it'll be stored in that database. And then Uncle Rob will be able to easily see through um, via web and look at the information. So in addition to all the systems that Larry mentioned, we think that we should also add a data administration subsystem. So now data administration subsystem helps look over the whole system to make sure that there are any errors and helps um, like check it, like put a red flag on it so you can really tell quickly if there's any errors in the system. Next for backup, we recommend a one terabyte hard disk for both of these so that he can hold a lot of songs for his document library as well as a lot of customer information. So now there's a problem here, security. So we're gonna recommend not Cisco, even though it's popular, because Cisco may be a high enterprise and really popular, but it costs hundreds of thousands of dollars. And since Rob is a privately owned um, business, we don't think that the money is actually worth the profit. 
So we actually recommend MonoWall, which is a free and an online resource. Now many may assume because it's free and it's online, it may be susceptible to viruses or other dangerous materials. However, three prestigious companies such as Sony and Samsung are currently using MonoWall for several years. So we know that through their experience, this is a very, um, it's understandable that it'll be okay. So um, to conclude everything, we think that by using MySQL software and integrating a customer relationship management system, as well as an enterprise information portal system into the software, and in addition, having a subsystem of a data administration subsystem to look over to make sure if there's any mistakes. And just in case the system crashes, having one terabyte hard drive backup and making and integrating also a bi-monthly checkup system to make sure that if anything goes wrong and the whole thing crashes, you still have the information updated bi-monthly. And finally, for final security, mono walls on both of these both of these hard, um, hard drives, as well as a two to three, uh, and we also think that if you, if Uncle Bob integrates this whole system for about two to three years, then um, through return on investment, he'll gain all of his profits back that we spent on this system. We think that this is a very cost-efficient, user-friendly, and a perfect solution for this situation. Thank you for listening to our presentation. We are now open for questions. Great job. <clears throat> Go ahead. Oh, okay. I'll jump right in. <laughs> there you um, so, thank you. You've given us a lot to think about here. So, um, you talked a lot about the different interfaces that you've got and the management, uh, the management interface on that one. Let's talk a little bit about that management interface. From a, from a business perspective, how's that going to help me? You mentioned ROI. What do you see as the most important information that I'm going to be able to pull from that management reporting tool? Well, the, currently the situation is that um, Uncle Rob just wants us, uh, an, the customers, another way to get into the MP3 internet market and to, for all customers to easily access their music. So this is like kind of like a, like it's like a Google for music for Rob, uh, Uncle Rob's um, library. And so that's what the interface is all about. So we're saying that it's user friendly, it's easy to access. There are, if anyone wants to look for certain specific um, types of songs, you can just click easily on the button. So all the explanation with the search engine and the customer feedback is all for um, user feasibility and so that they can access this really easily. What about me as Uncle Rob? What am I getting from it? Well, you're getting profit, obviously, because now you're entering the MP3 internet market and you're kind of getting in competition with the iTunes store. And honestly, I don't think iTunes has this country metal and I don't think they have these separate things. And I know that from statistics, iTunes actually don't respond back to their customer responses. Here, they'll, since Uncle Rob is a privately owned business, it's really small, he can store all the information here, look at it right at his home laptop or his office, and he can just answer any of them because he knows that it's a small business. My customers, okay, I'll just answer them because our customers is always satisfaction guaranteed. In addition, by tracking sales figures, Uncle Rob will be able to, or you, will be able to track emerging trends and technologies concerning songs. For example, you can check which songs are doing really well and which songs are doing really poorly, and then make educated guesses about uh, which songs that to sell at a higher or lower price. How did you make the determination in regards to uh, the operating systems, Oracle or Cisco, that would be best for Uncle Rob's situation? We mainly determine them on cost as well as performance. For example, Oracle and Cisco are very costly softwares, uh, whereas MySQL and MonoWall are completely free. In terms of performance, Oracle and Cisco do outperform MySQL and MonoWall, but the size of the business that we're looking at here is very much appropriate for those softwares. And as Larry mentioned previously in the presentation, Oracle is a multi-million dollar software. And right now, since Uncle Rob is a very small, independently owned company, we don't think he has enough revenue to actually invest in that much amount of money. And even if we do invest in that much amount of money, it'll be the same thing because he doesn't have that much songs in his library right now. So using, um, using another database that is free versus something that's a multi-million dollar software, which, which one do you pick if the performance is exactly the same in terms of Uncle Rob? So if he was a banking investor for financial institutions and she can track of exact numbers, maybe you would use MySQL such as Wells Fargo, but he doesn't have enough money to invest in that kind of thing. I like your uh, query process and kind of the spreadsheet and your Excel design and, and your tabs. <clears throat> I also like, I think it's <clears throat> most important to, to get feedback, <clears throat> you know, 
because everything in a web service or web mail or web everything is a work in progress. You want to get the feedback. What are they like? <clears throat> I would suggest, and I was just thinking this, is that you can also put a tab or have a pop up that says, so when they pick on or pick up uh, John Hyatt, he's a you know they, he's a performer, and they pick out a song, and they go, and he goes, okay, buy it, and they go at the end of that, you go, by the way, those that bought this. Here's a list. Also Here's a list of what, what else they bought. Mm -hmm. Just to sort of tease them or, or, or add teasers in there to, yeah. to, uh, to uh, <clears throat> and even, even from the web administrator or the administrator, you could, you know, where you've got the data. Even if they go in, don't buy anything, and go back out, where they know that. I, I know I've been to several online forums, and, yeah. and they'll go one day later and go. Here's your coupon. You can also buy that, yeah. yeah how so do that's know like that? additional advertising, <clears throat> but of course, since this is just a recommendation for yeah. Uncle Rob and it's like first year of development, yeah, we, maybe within that. two or three years after the return on investment, you can start doing advertising with more costly materials. Yeah. Good job. But thank Good you job. for the idea. Yeah.